Hey, my strong, strong friends. Today, I wanted to make a video that officially addressed how my channel has changed. I don't want you guys to think that I don't see the comments because I really do. And in the past when, let me adjust this. <laughs> in the past when people commented, I like your videos back at this time, I would definitely get defensive and I would respond and just explain what I'm about to explain here. I have retrospect now, so I hope that I don't sound defensive in this video um, But I want to make this because I want all of you to know that I do read your comments and I Want to listen to you and I don't want this to be like a one-sided thing I mean it very well could be I could very well like create whatever I want to do uh, and I do do that but I want to kind of let you know what's going on in my life and uh, it's nothing crazy serious I'm not like severely depressed or anything uh, but I just want to give you an inside look at my perspective why I changed um, and why I've been like experimenting with other things so that's what this video is gonna be about probably only relevant to people who are subscribed uh, so if you're not subscribed I suggest to you Maybe watch another video and learn about me because maybe this will be really boring for you. Um, but yeah, so I'll just get into it. Uh, if you're new here and you didn't notice any kind of change, back in, uh, I guess I've been on YouTube for almost three years now, uh, like three and a half years now. Um, and I started making videos that were about my fitness journey, about my strength journey, and about me trying to be as strong as I could be and competing in powerlifting. And so I would do like meet, um, I would do competition diaries and like competition preps and share that with YouTube. I did that for about the first two years. And then the third time I did nationals, which is like my big, like my big championship of the year every year. Uh, the third time I did nationals, I didn't make a series. Um, I had a lot going on and I didn't feel like my journey would have been relatable to anyone. So when I made videos like that, I would just record my day and then upload it to YouTube, uh, try to edit it and make it somewhat interesting and find a thumbnail and find it, figure out a title to just any random day. And so what I noticed on YouTube is that clickbaity things work and um, like I started doing some of that stuff and if you look back um, <clears throat> there's a video that called summer strength and has a ton of views for no reason like it's an okay video but um, I originally uploaded that video with a uh, that's still the same picture but it was like a really suggestive title and like off the bat it got like 170,000 views or like you know all those views that it has right now were mostly um, generated from the first couple of days that it was uploaded so I started doing things like that like I was like bent over in the thumbnail and then it said something suggestive and so I was doing things like that and I hated that about myself and so I just had to kind of take a step <clears throat> excuse me I had to kind of when I was doing things like that and I realized that I didn't like that I had to kind of take a step back and figure out how can I share what's going on in my life and how can I make it so that people will be interested without doing that so I have that in the back of my mind and that was sort of that experience that specific video was sort of when I was like I need to change this um, to be completely honest with you I was at the YouTube space and I did a program last year with um, like nine other girls and we part of the program was to present our YouTube videos and like talk about them um, and there was a day when I showed a video of mine and it wasn't that one um, but then the recommended screen came up after the video and that thumbnail and title was there and I was just so embarrassed like to be around really powerful women and to be around women who are doing good things on YouTube uh, and to show my like clickbait video with my like I'm bent over and you can see my cleavage and then the title is really like porny <laughs> um, that just like tore like broke my heart and that was kind of a turning moment where I was like just so embarrassed like I had to face what I was doing um, I was just so embarrassed that I needed something else 
other than that i mean i know i've talked about it a ton a lot of you guys know that i've been moving around um travel is cool uh but i was going to certain places last year like i traveled to japan and i traveled to spain and i didn't feel comfortable um recording that much there especially in japan i mean now we are on the other side of the logan paul controversy uh, just seeing how he acted and i mean i'm not that obnoxious at least i hope but that's like a very unnatural thing to do um, in a country like that that's just like based on respect and like being really polite. When my travel did start, I just tried my best to be aware of the culture around me and aware of what would have been appropriate. And vlogging still is just like not something that I'm completely comfortable with at all times. I try to put a good face on, but um, it's a weird thing. And it's a weird thing regardless of where you are, but especially in certain places that I was traveling, I didn't feel like I could just go up and like completely be myself. I talked about it a little bit in one of my last videos. Um, when other people are around, I do feel like it's just someone's like kind of eavesdropping in on my one-sided conversation. My training hasn't really been consistent so i haven't really been the prime example to share my journey with someone watching so that's why i've been trying to experiment and see like okay what can i do in the like <laughs> in the time constraint of a few hours that will help someone learn something new and i can try something fun and i can have fun making a video but isn't something that i need to commit six months out of my life because that's really what it does take to get stronger it takes a long time and it takes a lot of boring boring work what can i do in a short amount of time to make it so that my video is exciting to watch and um it's helpful to someone watching so that's why i've been doing train like a pro train like a fitspo i have 100 percent been watering down my personality um i think everyone has something to say and i totally listen um and it stresses me out um i know i shouldn't but i just can't look like i mean when someone's talking shit about you you kind of want to know um but i hear things like i'm annoying um i'm a bitch that's the biggest thing like meg's meg is such a bitch she's so conceited um which i can like i've been called that for most of my life <laughs> I remember in high school before like internet bullying was a thing a girl made a blog about me um, before I even fucking knew what a blog was and that was what she said she said I was conceited and I was like a bitch um, so like I've been hearing that for forever um, and now I'm just starting to embrace that title um with like the shirts like one strong bitch and i'm starting to just say fuck it um because there was a time when i would just water down my personality and try to be really nice and sort of put on this something that i didn't do on youtube when i first started um and when i started getting comfortable i didn't put on like that mask that you wear when you go to work where you want everyone to think that you're a certain way you want everyone to think that you're certain really really nice i used to be um, like really quiet at work uh, when I'm not that way in my real life. Um, I used to be really timid and like a certain way. Um, so I was doing that as a response of receiving criticism when, I mean, I receive criticism in a different way than most people watching, but all of you receive criticism, whether that be like in your family, in your work life, with your friends, um, with like other people talking shit about you, like it always happens. Um, y'all can relate like maybe it's not in the same format but you know how it feels and you know how sometimes when someone says something you might have a response of getting mad but sometimes like a big reaction to something usually means that you are sort of thinking about it and you are believing it in a way now i'm like i do believe that i am a bitch at times and that's just like because i'm fucking busy i don't have time to not be a bitch sometimes I'm sort of giving you guys all of the reasons for why things have changed and why I've been like recording other stuff. All of those reasons are why I'm at a place where this move has, has already changed my life. Um, I've just been feeling better overall. I've been feeling more confident on the camera. Um, I feel like confident enough to just upload this video of me talking to you guys. I think moving forward, I don't think I'm gonna stop doing anything 
that I've been doing. I really do love and I believe in the Train Like a Pro series and I believe in the Train Like a Fispo series. I think they're just fun and funny. Going back into prep for nationals, I'm gonna do nationals. I might do um, nationals is in October. I might do something before then and I'll let you know as soon as I decide on that, but I'm gonna be training really hard and one thing that I can do is be more honest with my actual goals with you. I've been disappointed with how I just haven't been able to really truly see how strong I am now. Um, I recently hit a squat PR so that was exciting, but other than that like I have, uh, I'm not living the life of a power lifter who's more consistent, like, that I used to live. I'm not constantly, like, sure that I'm making progress, you know what I mean? And that's disappointing to me, and that's something that I avoid talking about because I don't want to seem like, I don't want to seem vulnerable, but also I don't want to seem like a, a lazy bitch. Yeah, um, so I'm gonna keep doing a lot of the things that I'm doing, but also opening up more sharing my true feelings with you rather than sometimes put on this like news reporter personality um, kind of water down who i really am um just slightly not i don't think it's anything crazy but i think a lot of you who have said like i've changed and my videos have changed will um I'm not gonna go back to like purely recording vlogs in the gym and just showing you day-to-day -day stuff in the gym because to be honest, if you're running an appropriate powerlifting program and you're running an appropriate strength program, that shit is the same shit day in and day out. That's it. I mean, you're gonna need to get more creative whenever you hit a plateau and whenever you get like to a certain level, but even after then, it's the same. You're squatting, you're benching, you're deadlifting. The reps are different certain times of the year, but it's like, how how long can I talk about that? Um, so yeah, uh, so I think that I could get a little bit more emotional with you guys. Of course, when I uploaded the sprint video, anytime I fucking run, people have to say that I'm like so slow and they have to make fun of me, but I think those videos, where I do struggle are the ones that I enjoy the most and they show me something about myself that I haven't really faced, at least not recently. And I don't want people to forget that you should try to be doing that and try to face the things that you're a little bit embarrassed about or a little bit ashamed of because um, that's when you're gonna grow. That is why my YouTube channels are different. Um, I think like when I started making videos and doing more, I had like a little bit of a lull where I decided to make this series about powerlifting kind of because i wanted to just answer all the questions that a beginner has um so it's like the zero to platform series i wanted to answer all the questions that a beginner powerlifter has and just kind of put that book on the shelf and i did that you know i don't want to ever leave the world of powerlifting i don't want to ever leave strength you know i kind of just wanted to hang it up so that i didn't have to keep making the same videos and i think that series although it didn't really do that well was successful in talking about all the things that I wanted to talk about um, and saying all the things that I knew about the sport and doing some research uh, so that I could kind of hang it up. Whenever I did that though, it was like zero emotion. Um, it was not me at the, like looking at the camera. It was a voiceover, like you didn't get to see me. You didn't, it was just reporting. It was just reporting, which is fine. Um, but whenever I did that and kind of had like a breather, um, it was hard to like find my footing again. So, uh, yeah. This may be overdue, this video, um, but I hope that it kind of clears up what, why things have changed and why, um, and yeah, why things have changed. And I do want you guys to know that I do listen and I read all the comments. If I don't respond to them, I try, I try to respond to all the comments in the first hour unless the day is crazy. Um, but yeah, I just want to let you know that I hear you. I don't think things will like go back to the way they were 100%, but just giving you perspective on like why I needed a switch up, letting you know that I do want to be more emotional and open up more and be more honest with who I am. I've just been like watering, watered down, which is annoying. Okay, okay, officially we've answered this question. We're moving on. Still gonna do things the way that we've been doing, but hopefully better. I'm excited to get more people involved in the videos, do more collabs, 
and hopefully whatever training partners I do find hopefully they will be in the videos and they will be like a character of the show okay I hope you guys feel good about yourselves today <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next one